Hello there. Welcome to the EPW. Now, you'll get to know who I am in just a minute, but I first need to explain what exactly the EPW is. Well, the EPW first started out as a little idea I had. However, this came about because of one man and here he is to describe in his own words what the EPW is and I'll be along to fill in the blanks. Well, I'm Barry Epps and I am the commissioner of the EPW. That is the Epps Pay-Per-View Wrestling. Well, it got first started with a couple of guys going to the Buffalo Wild Wings after church on the pay-per-views and they said that we were so wild at the places right there that they actually quit caring. The WWE Network came out with their deal, you know, it used to be $60 per pay-per-view, but now you get it for $9.95 a month. And we started inviting some friends over, and we were watching it and having a big time with parties and stuff like that. And then we started having the championship, where guys and girls could get involved in picking each match and winning the championship. So, me and my friend Brandon began having this idea of what if we actually fought for titles and to be honest we kind of borrowed the idea off of what culture wrestling with their what culture championship but um, you know we wanted to have the American version again the idea goes to what culture on that one we're not trying to steal from you guys so it kind of evolved as we went along. At first it was just me and Brandon that wanted to do it and I became the first champion. Then, after that first time, I had a lot of people coming up to us saying that they wanted in, they wanted to join, so it was out to tell them no. Then when they split off to Smack, SmackDown and Raw, we got two different champions now. And we actually have a third championship belt called the EPW Ultimate Championship. See, the Raw EPW Championship is defended on Raw pay-per-views. SmackDown EPW Championship is defended on SmackDown pay-per-views. And the EPW Ultimate Championship is defended only on the Big Four pay-per-views. So, without further ado, Let's meet the members of the EPW. I'm Jordan Kevin Owens Epps, and I run the Kevin Owens Show. That's the only achievement that matters. Jordan Kevin Owens Epps puts on a dang good show, but I ain't here to buy tickets to the Kevin Owens Show. Boo! Why on earth? Would I want to pay to see that darn show? It doesn't get any different. It's the same time and time again, and I'm sick of it. Jordy, Jordy, Jordy. To be honest, he talks a big game. He doesn't really have much to back up. His only championship win, well, actually, he didn't even win it. His father awarded him the championship whenever it was vacated. We had a champion come in, but he said he wasn't going to be showing up too much, so he gave the title to our commissioner, Barry Epps. And so Barry vacated it. He ends up giving it to his son. He hasn't done much for the Kevin Owens show. He can't even win a pay-per-view match. I honestly, I give him some respect. I mean, Although he's been handed the title and has attacked me from behind, but I'll, I'll still show him more respect than his brother, basically. The Kevin Owens show is alive and well, just as the Epps Authority. The Kevin Owens show will continue. Jordy Kevin Owens, one of a kind, definitely lives in his own world. The thing I like about Jordy, a.k.a. Kevin Owens, he knows how to get it done. Smart enough to pick the right picks. Been champion, what, a couple times? One time. But he's had chances for other times. 
and knows how to play the part. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Well, I like him. I got, I got him. At, he, he's a personal good, good man. I, I, I like to team up with him every now and then. I can see us doing it in the future, as long as, as long as he's okay with that. But you know, I, I could see him being prosperous in the EPW and the next pay-per-views coming up. I can see him being very well winning more belts. I just run the show, and I win the championship when I want to. Simple as that. Oh, my name is Brandon Ketchum. I'm a co-founder of what the EPW is today. Uh, I'm a two-time champ, first ever undisputed. You know, I had both the SmackDown and Raw titles at the same time. Brandon Ketchum, the silent one. Definitely the silent one. But yet, silent and strong, loves to have a good time. Could be like a snake. I see that in Brent. He may not, he may not do it yet, but somewhere down the line, he will strike. Besides his ability to rip some fat clouds, uh, I don't really have much of an opinion on him. Uh, he pops in and out. He, he's really good at predicting. I mean, I know. Uh, he's really good at allies with Tanner, and that kind of puts me off. Brandon Ketrin also has his essence of mysteriousness. But even he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. You know, me and him go way back. He's practically a brother to me. I mean, we grew up in elementary all the way through high school. And, you know, we're really close. And for a time, I kind of turned my back on him. But, you know, now we're back together. He has my back. I have his back. And um, hopefully we're going to conquer the EPW and take down the EPS authority. Brandon Ketter. I kind of think he might be a little bit like that old Tanner McDavid guy. A whole lot of talk. Has he won a title? Yes. Has he held multiple titles? Absolutely. I'm kind of indifferent towards the guy. I ain't a fan, but I don't have anything against him. He can go do his thing, and I'll go do my thing. We'll go live our happy, our happy little lives. You know what? That's all I got to say about that. 2017. My one and ultimate goal is to become the first ever Triple Crown winner. Um, that's my goal. I've set it. And I mean, when I set my goals, I, I achieve them. I am the country boy, Jordan Roden. And I am the current APW Raw champion. Jordan, now that, that right there is a wild card. He is literally a wild card. You don't really know what to expect from him. Um, he came in on on the first times I had to defend my Raw Championship, and he came and he surprisingly won and took it from me. So um, you never know what to expect from him. So yeah, he's definitely got to keep his keep your eye out for him. He's also really good friends with Derek right now. So that right there's a dangerous combination. Anything can happen with that guy. I mean, I don't know how he does it. Sometimes I think it's pure luck, and sometimes I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Pass. A former friend. We shall see if he will follow the true light, or if he will remain in the shadows. Rowdy Roten, special guy, really is. Love Jordan Roten, full of life, knows how to have a good time. I believe he can have a good time by himself. But, he can be sneaky. My brother, Jordan Roten, well, he has a belt like me now. He, he's won twice. He barely beat Derek in a tiebreaker. Barely. Maybe he's just a wannabe. 
maybe. He might fall back down. I think so. Just a just a little hint, t bit. Oh well, that's him. First off, do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to the country boy. I do everything the best, top level, top notch of everything. I don't do anything halfway. I am uh, Noah Roten, two-time champion of both belts, the Raw and SmackDown, of uh, in the EPW. I, I'm pretty sure I'm. Uh, just as good as some of these other guys who, uh, well, they promote themselves a lot. But, you know, I, I'm moving up. I'm, I was, I'm newer to this. I, I came in after, a lot of after some other people, but I'll be number one. No time flat. Noah, he, he sort of reminds me of me, to be honest. I mean, came from, well, we're... I wasn't winning anything, to now he's two-time champ. Kind of like I was. Noah Roden. Ha! I just laughed at the name. We might be blood kid, but that's about it. He might be a champion right now. But he's just got luck on his side. That's all he's ever got out of him. He ain't gonna have that championship long. He's gonna lose it to me! When I have both battles in 2017, and you can take that to the bank, Jack. Noah, I'll be honest. Him first coming up, I didn't really expect much of him. To be honest, I didn't really know much of him other than he was Jordan Roten's brother. I mean, that's about all I knew of him, but you know what? He came up through the ranks. He's won two championships now, so you know, he's got something going. We were friends in the past, but we've made our separate ways. I think the best of them. Even though I don't want him to win. He's under my show and it should stay that way. Noah, pretty much a little more reserved than Jordan is, but you can tell because he's younger. But, but Noah has his own way of doing things. Separate from his brother. In the EPW, I've already got two wins behind me. I see a whole slew coming up, and in the next matches coming up, I see 2017 as a year of me turning into just a champ, me dominating. My name is Tanner McDavid. I am a two-time EPW Raw Champion, and... I really helped establish what the EPW is today. In the past, I've been kind of a, um, a dirty player. I've cheated before, but you know what? Um, kind of a, as a New Year's resolution, I'm, gonna become, I'm turning over a new leaf, becoming a better person. Oh, oh Tanner. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. I mean, we've had our rough patches. We've had our good days, and are bad days, just like any friendship. You know, we've been through a lot together. I mean, God, we were so little. Heck, I remember us shooting. We were like four or five, six years old. We've had long, good relationships. So hope it continues. Tanner McDavid. That guy, he knows how to talk the talk. But when it comes to walking the walk, Please, are you kidding me? That guy is all talk. He can't do it. He don't know what on earth he's doing. I mean, are you kidding me? Have you seen this guy? As much as I dislike him, we always need something to blame. We need a scapegoat. If something goes wrong in the Kevin Owens show, just blame Tanner. It works perfectly. But besides that, I wish he never wins a championship. Tanner McDavid. I don't know what to say. You, you seen him try so hard, you see him do good, you seen him win belts. And then you see him... You don't know if he just cheats, you don't know if he falls under pressure, you just... Tanner McDavid takes it to the extreme. The man with the plan.
If I had to say one thing about Tanner McDavid, he's genuine and he loves people. Represented the EPW well. Who am I? I'm not who you think I am. No one knows who I am. They think they know. They think they can put labels on my essence. They think they can put labels on me because there's no championships. They can label me because my last name is Epps. They can put labels on me because I'm the arch rival of Tanner McDavid. But they don't know what's coming. Derek Epps. This guy, we've been tied for a long time now. We're still that way. I have nothing but respect for him. He's hit on some hard times in the EPW, but you know what? He's going to ride right to the top, and he's going to end up taking the championship. You better wait and see. I'm telling you, right here, right now, it's happening. He's going to get that championship. Is he ever going to win a title? I mean, all honesty, I don't know. But somewhat, I kind of pull for him. I, I want him to get his first title win, just, just to get over that hump. I mean, I kind of want him to win, but yet again, I don't know what it's going to be like. Conniving, but a lot of fun to be around. I always stir in something. You never know what's going to happen when you're with Derek Epps. I think he's going to the dark side, it looks like. Is he switching from a good guy to a bad guy? I feel it in the future. It could be happening. And there ain't no telling what could happen there. It might be the new world order all over again. We'll just have to wait and see. I like him. I think he has his chances. He's doing good. He has his whole family behind him. The possibility for him to win is there. But it's been this long and he just hasn't done it yet. We are at Alliance and all, but he's in some weird edgy phase right now. I don't know how to describe it. But I'm just going to let him do his own thing. As long as we're allies, it doesn't really matter. I, I just try to keep a distance. He smells weird. This is the rivalry I think made EPW what it is. As much as I have disdain for him, I cannot deny the drive it gives me to be better than him. And in all ways, I am better than him. At least I have won a championship. He has none. He has never won a belt. To be honest, at the rate he's going, he's never going to win a belt. Tanner McDavid. Tanner McDavid. Tanner McDavid. Tanner McDavid! <laughs> that name excites me. It brings my essence to life. To see him fall from the highest mountains into the valleys of the shadows is what this year will bring. This year, there's a new Tanner McDavid. He has a new look on life. He has new respect for all the people in the EPW. He knows that he's better than everybody else. And he has proven it time and time again. In 2017, will be no different. It's been said that a storm's coming. Warn the people. Send them to the lighthouse, the barriers, the fortress. Before it's too late. The storm approaches. The winds grow strong. 
the rains, the winds, the waves. Nothing can stop the storm. 2017 is going to be an unpredictable year. As the EPW continues to evolve, um, I see new characters wanting to come in, and we may have new leadership. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes we all go down. Somebody has to be ready to step up to the plate. What I see for 2017, 2017 I say is going to be a great year. And that is the EPW. Again, things will get a lot more interesting as videos go on. This is just an introduction video to get everybody acquainted with what we do here and who we are. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also leave a comment of suggestions that you would like to see us do. My name is Tanner McDavid, and welcome to the EPW.